so hi this is the another video tutorial of Windows system programming in this uh, tutorial we'll see how to write and how to read into that file so this is the previous uh, program uh, so you can go and check it the create how to create file uh, function so I'll start from here so here the write file API function simply it's write data to the specified file this is the input output device okay for any device so this is the syntax of that function and the return type of that function is the bool and it will take almost uh, five argument first argument is the h file h file this is the handle so we have created a file here if you see the program we have created the file the h file this is the handle so we have to pass this handle to here second one is the LP buffer LP buffer means long pointer buffer and the data type of this argument is LPC void means a void pointer void pointer we know that it can point to any data type character float uh, integer third argument is number of bytes to write so how many bytes you want to write into that file so the return type of uh, the data type of that variable is the d word and uh, fourth argument is number of bytes to return parameter which is optional and lp overlap and the return type of that variable is lp overlapped and this is the in out means input output and optional parameter so just quickly look that the in this three argument in the parameter section go to here so the number of bytes to be written to the file or device so this is the number of bytes to write this is the input parameter so we have to specify and this is the LP number of bytes written so a pointer to the variable that receive the number of bytes written when using a synchronous H file parameter write file sets this value to 0 before doing any work on next result so this parameter can be null this is a very important line only when the overlap parameter is not null so overlapped means suppose uh, if you go little bit down here in remark section and here the file overlapped there are uh, following condition the LP overlap parameter must point to a valid and unique overlap structure otherwise the function can incorrectly report that the write operation is complete and second is that LP number of bytes written parameter should be set to null to get the number of bytes written use the get overlap result this is not so in this local variable I'll use return type of that function is the bool so I'll use here b file okay and we have to specify one r c h buffer okay and uh, we have to as if we can specify the size otherwise right here api Okay, <coughs> I'm using here D word number of bytes buffer. Okay, is the D word? Okay, control V number of bytes. return and put here 0 so go to that section here after creating the file write file so I am using here b file and write file ok and see here 
the first argument is handle so h file second argument is the buffer so we have to write here buffer okay third argument is number of bytes to be written so type here did just the size and lp d word lp number of bytes to be written so we have to specify here this is the pointer kind of this thing so will be and third last argument is overlapped so we have to specify here null that's it check the condition again if mp file false so we have to write here some error message and print the error message with the help of get last error function write write file failed okay otherwise success so control c just save and build our project once again so success so go to debug and start debugging so create file success and write file success so go to that folder so here the test file this is the create file uh, or created file here and just open that so we have successfully written our string here this is the sample program of write and read api that's it so if you see here in this uh, path okay our test file has created and the return the handle object we are passing to the in write file so now uh, we have successfully write our string into that file so now it's time to read from that file this is the read file function so it's read data from the specified file and this is the syntax of that function and almost all the uh, argument is same so here the first argument is handle file object buffer from which buffer we want to read and number of bytes how many bytes we want to read and this is the number of bytes and this is the overlapped so almost same and return type of this function is bool type so if you see the return value uh, function succeeded the return value is non zero if the function failed so return value is false and we can get the error number with the help of get last error function so just to start our coding here again so if you see here i'm using same variable here b file and read file okay and first argument is the handle so we have to pass the h file here and buffer so buffer name is ch buffer and and here the divide number of bytes to be read so I specify i'll specify here same thing uh, just i'm copy and pasting this two line here read read that's it so go here and just and copy this variable and fourth argument is the 
address here and last argument is overlapped so we have to put here null same operation check the condition here again and read same thing here read file failed so I'm using here cout function okay and from which buffer we ch buffer so I'm a specifier data read from file okay so just save go to build rebuild our solution so rebuild succeeded start debugging so see here create file success write file success read file success and data read from file is this is the sample program of write and read api so go to that folder see here this is the sample program of write and read read api we have successfully written into that file and read this data into the console this is the sample program of write and read api thank you